All right, super quick review, all right? This is not gonna be like the longest video in the world because we're gonna go through this kind of quickly. We're gonna get to the review, then we're gonna do another thing of review in class today using the Pear Deck uh, flashcard factory. Then we'll have a game to play at the end to help us again review for weather instruments. So you'll have plenty of times to review that. Yes, the quiz is on Friday. No, I'm not gonna teach weather instruments all week because we have to move on into other things of weather. So you'll be learning new words but still be responsible for the weather words. And I could go back and put in layer of the atmosphere stuff if I needed to. Again, the reason why you need to be able to do this, you need to be able to understand what the weather instruments are so that you can actually use them uh, to help predict upcoming weather and understand why weather is occurring the way it is on a certain day. All right, thermometer, probably our easiest of all the definitions other than maybe rain gauge, because we all know what a thermometer does. A thermometer is right here measures the air temperature. If you weren't here last week, you can get these notes written down very, very quickly. I think most of us were here last week and we already have these in our notebook, but a thermometer of all of them are the, are the easiest. Now they're not gonna ask you, Elijah, on the test, what's the thermometer? They're gonna say something like, Julia notices on her thermometer that the, the temperature tomorrow is supposed to be 28 degrees with a 100% chance of precipitation. What can she most likely expect to happen? And you have to look at the temperature and what the prediction is and put the two and two together. Like if it's that cold and it's going to rain, it's going to be in the form of snow. They won't really put anything about like what is a thermometer because they kind of expect you to know what that is. Moving along, number one most important instrument out of all of them, I could give you easily 10 questions on the test based off the barometer alone. They will ask you what a barometer does. That one they want you to know. Then they're going to ask you about the high pressure and the low pressure in many different ways. Sometimes, Kinsley, they won't even mention what a barometer. They won't, they'll just say that pressure is high or the pressure is low. Sometimes they'll say, Billy notices that the pressure is dropping or decreasing on his barometer. Or Billy notices that it's increasing. What can he expect to happen in the next few hours? And you have to say, okay, well, if it's increasing, it's going to become clear, cool, and dry. If it's decreasing, there's probably going to be a storm. Because that's, that's easily the most important one that we have. Again, it measures the air pressure. We have high pressure, our quote-unquote happy weather, clear, cool, and sunny. We have the low pressure, that big red L on the weather map. That is going to stand for lousy weather. That's going to be dark skies and precipitation. And lots of times, that's going to be storms. Rain gauge, if you don't know what a rain gauge does, we're all in trouble, right? I mean, you look at it, you certainly aren't gonna say that it measures air pressure. You don't think that that's a thermometer, it measures how much it rained, right? That one's fairly simple. That'll be on the vocabulary, but it won't be on the test because that's easy. There is a very hard rain gauge question on the test that shows up very often. I will give you an example of that and how we're going to not let them trick us with these triple step problems, um, but it, it tells you that it's measuring the rain. It's weird how you get the rain answer. We'll go over that in class together, I promise. Wind vane, weather vane. I look at the bottom of that, I see that compass rose. So this is telling me what? What am I gonna do with this thing on the top of my barn, Thomas? What direction the wind is blowing, exactly. Like I said, I know those firemen were very interested in what direction the wind was blowing this weekend right there off of 109 with all those acres on fire. Anemometer. I have no idea why that's not in the middle and why it keeps moving further and further over to the right the more I teach. Um, but again, the top of that, I see the wind vane. Here's those little cups catching the, the wind. The faster it blows, the faster the cups spin because an anemometer measures wind speed. The anemometer measures wind speed. This is a weather map. I would recommend going home and watching the weather at least once a day. No, you don't have to sit up with grandma and grandpa and wait for it to come on late at night. You could go on the, like the first channel that pops up. They have the weather on the ones. You can go to the weather channel and watch it. You can even YouTube like WXI for today and they'll show you what the weather is for today. You'll get used to seeing the weather maps. You're going to have to do that in class, by the way. The green screen is going to get put back up. You get to stand in front of that and tell us what the weather is going to be like and do a prediction of the weather. It's going to be lots of fun. So a weather map tells me the weather over a specific area, right? I don't, I, I, I don't care about the weather here. I care about the weather in North Carolina and especially Davidson County. Weather maps. 
This is a hygrometer. Uh, unlike the barometer, there's nothing on here about clear, cool, and sunny or storms, right? It just says percentage. That's the percentage of moisture in the air, Ava, because the hygrometer tells me the humidity. The hygrometer is going to give me the humidity. Those are all of our vocabulary words for the weather instruments. There's a couple more on there that we'll go over. I'll attach those to, um, I'm going to put the whole like thing on there because people keep losing theirs or they don't take them home at night. I'm just going to put it into Google Classroom so you can find it anytime if you need to use it. Sound good? So we have to what? Smash the like button, subscribe, anything else? Subscribe. All right. Yeah, it sounds awesome.